Okay, last time we were working on this Robotron game, we left off at a place where if I hit Control Enter and produce a swift flash movie and click the click here to begin button, our hero character can walk around, he can shoot lasers using the keyboard, right? So I'm using the arrow keys to move and I'm using uh, the F key to shoot right, the S key to shoot left, E and D to shoot up and down, but you can see that there's no hit, to I can't shoot and kill the um, the bad guys and also if they run into me I don't die either so we need to do some collision detection and so that we can um, you know kill some of the enemies and also uh, kill the hero so so what we'll do is we're on the game on keyframe notice the timeline here I'm gonna open up my actions window F9 there's my actions and we'll scroll down to the move laser function. So this function actually moves the the lasers, right? So depending on which way it's going, it increments the x and y axis. So as the lasers are moving, this would be a good place to add the hit detection for um, hitting some of the aliens. So what we'll do is, above this if statement, I'm going to come right up here at the top and I'll say for and then open so there is a for loop and what we want to do is as the lasers move right we want to loop through all of the um, aliens so what we'll do is we'll say index equals zero and then a semicolon right and then we'll say as long as index is less than the alien array okay dot the length of the array so however big our alien array is the array of all our aliens the length of it right so this is an index we'll start at a zero we're going to go through the index until we get to the end of the alien array length and then what we'll do is we will increment the index index plus plus okay now where do we get the alien array from well if you look down here when we created the aliens when we created the aliens we created an alien array to hold all of the aliens so that's where I got that from okay so back up to the move laser function so what we'll do is we'll say We'll loop through our array and we'll say AL, which will be short for alien, equals the alien array. Then we'll do an open and close bracket and we'll put in our index number, right? So our index number, which is going to be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, however, depending on how many aliens there are, this will be a, a reference to the array at a certain index number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever alright and so this will this top line will I'm gonna put a comment in here loop through all the aliens right okay so and you can see down here when we created our aliens we put into the array all of the alien movie clips references to all of the alien movie clips so at the at the array um, at the different uh, array elements are references to the different movie clips so this should work pretty nicely if we just access this alien array and say we want to get alien array object number or array element number two it's gonna point to the movie clip for alien two so what we'll do is we want to move the laser and what we'll say is we'll say if this dot underscore X is less than AL which is short for alien right dot underscore X plus 
plus the alien underscore width divided by 2. And for this, what I'm going to do is, so I'm saying if our X position, the laser, we're, the, this is going to be for each individual laser moving, if it is less than the alien's X plus the width of the alien, right? And what we might want to do there is instead of referencing the width of the alien divided by 2, is actually figure out what is the width of the alien and then half it so that flash player doesn't have to do this extra calculation. So let's do that now. So what we can do is we can go into the library and let's take a look. And information. It's width it's width, it looks like, is thirteen pixels. So it's actually six and a half pixels wide. So what we could do is, is instead of putting that code in there, that's going to cause Flash to have to do an extra calculation. Let's just put in here plus 6.5. All right. And we don't need the. All right. OK, so if this dot x is less than the alien's x position plus 6.5, right? And we're going to do the same thing. If the x is also greater than the alien's x position, minus 6.5 pixels and I went off screen and I just copied this so if the laser's exposition is less than the aliens exposition plus 6.5 which is half of the alien or the bad guys width and then the opposite and then I put in the Y here so on the Y axis and then I looked at the aliens um, height and it's 25 uh, pixels tall so 12 and a half, right? So you can see this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to test against both. So we put a double and sign there. So we want to test this and this. So we have to put the whole thing basically enclosed in parentheses. All right. And now that we have the whole thing enclosed in um, parentheses, what can we do? Well, we can now say, so if this and this, right? Now, where is our curly brace? I think I'm missing my curly brace here. Open curly brace. No, this is for the for loop. Okay, so there we go. That's what we need. So this if statement has this argument right here. And then it has an open curly brace and a closed curly brace for what's going to execute if this equals true, right? And we'll just say trace hit, okay? And we'll do it like that, all right? And so this is our whole for loop right here. And what we're hoping for is when the laser moves, if it crosses the path of an alien, we get a trace hit statement. So we'll hit Control Enter, click here to begin, and we'll. And I think we it worked. Let's see here. Right, so we shoot some lasers, and you can see the hits. Right, so the lasers crossed path with the aliens, so the code is working. So this trace hit statement worked. So now I can comment it out and instead of tracing a hit what we'll do is instead is we'll say alien dot remove movie clip remove movie clip and that has to be a capital M remove movie clip there we go 
remove capital M movie capital C clip it should turn blue if it's working and then open and close parentheses and then a semicolon and so we hit control enter click here to begin Let's see here and you can see that now it's actually when it's hitting it it's removing the movie clips so that's pretty cool so now we got that working 